Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and got a chance to uh, show you guys how we're gonna do the T-leg. We already did the two upright ones right here. The two screws from the back go right in here. This is the back braces. Where it says new take. Obviously it's backward when you put it all the way down. The, the two screws that go to the right, two screws that go to the left. We are putting the wheels right now on. These are locking wheels. And this is the front braces that you put in the bracket on the pedal. You have one screw and you have a block that goes underneath. So this could be adjustable. Let's see how you put it. You put it four inches, four inches from four, the front. Four, four inches. The, the wheel doesn't hit. The back. wheel doesn't hit the front brace. Yes. Very good, beautiful. The back, you don't need to worry because you already have two screws here and you have the holes. That's... Now. a lot of stuff here. We already have done the motor on this particular machine. Your machine might be direct drive. And I, what I mean by direct drive is one of these machines that already have the motor on, so you might not need the motor underneath. But this, this is what we do for a DDL 8700. But you should not worry about the type of sewing machine that goes on this. We're showing you how we do the T-legs with wheels right now. So we're putting all the wheels down right now, as you could see, four wheels. These are locking and you wanna make sure this won't hit the front. See, it's locked and won't move. And here you go. And now we're gonna do the Oh, I had no idea. Yes. You have to straight the whole thing up. Yes. And then, here, this is the pedal part. All the way. All the way in, you see that? Mm. This is the bracket for the pedal. Uh -huh. You put it all the way in there. In there. Are, when you sitting down, it's gonna be your left corner, like this one. This is the left corner. This is upside down. I'm sorry I'm moving the camera so much, but this, I'm trying to... This is going to be to the back. The four yeah. holes is gonna be toward the back of the sewing machine, another bracket, and we have the screw, and on top, here we go. That's it. That's it. Now we have we added another type of T-leg. It's a heavy duty T-leg that I will show up, show you guys, but this is not, um, they need a different type of installation. This is the one that we normally have. This is the normal duty, not the heavy duty. This is the lower bracket of the table, mm -hmm. of the leg, and then, as you could see, it's adjustable, meaning this part, the T part of it, goes inside the side, and then you, you screw from here, two screws from here, and a screw in the back, meaning that each side is gonna have four screws, heavy duty. Now, we're so getting the ball joint. Yes, ball joint. The ball joint goes from the motor. Again, you might not have the motor. You might have one of these, we call them motor switch. I'm gonna show you, it's good that I have everything here today. You see, this is the motor switch. Your machine might be direct drive, all right? Sorry again to go back and forth. This is the bracket, the extension. Goes back to the back of the pedal. All the screws are in there. Another one. There you go. And then the end. Ball joint. And this ball joint is adjustable, meaning that when 
is all shit I've done, you could adjust yes. the ball joint. This is the view from the back of the sewing machine. Beautiful. Done? Yeah, done. This is how you put an T leg together. All you have to do, you make it, turn it upside down. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and while we're at it, on this particular sewing machine, we're gonna show you how to um, tie the screws and where that stands. The table. The table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you could put this table, this leg, anywhere you want. But in this particular sewing machine, again, we have a belt-driven hole here. We have a motor here. And how much you get on four this machine? Inch, four four inches inch from one side. Done. And when you do four inch from one side, here will fall here and then it's one inch one inch from the side yes. so from the back this is the back one inch and one inch there are already holes in there for your screw you see? And, now, and here you have will have inches. 12 inches 11 and three quarters 11 and three quarters to be exact yes 11 and three quarters 11 and three right quarters there. to be exact Again, this is a T-leg assembly. Now, I told you we have another type of T-leg that we just got in for more heavy duty machines. For heavier machines, this is a heavier type of T-leg. Heavy duty, one size. We're gonna do one video for this one too. But that, the super heavy duty one. And we're gonna have this one, the one that Octavio just did for us, is the regular duty. 90% of the sewing machine use this type of T-Leg. Beautiful, beige color, very sturdy. We're putting a DDL8700 on this machine, and it will look like this table right here. This is David from goldstartool.com. I know we've been asking us to do a video like this for a long, long time, and I'm gonna try to do more and more for you guys. Thank you for watching. Go on our website, and let me know what type of video you want me to do next. And that's how we're gonna be doing the draw. Uh, we're gonna set up the draw. This is the front, don't forget. Mm -hmm. This is the front. This, this is the front. front. All the accessories are made by new tech. The legs, the table, all the accessories. The light, LED lamp, everything is done and made for goldstartool.com. Again, thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com.